Jack Perry calls himself the scapegoat, but his lacklustre return to AEW has proven that he is nothing more than just another lamb to the slaughter. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. It's no surprise in this channel that we think Jack Perry's return has been very disappointing. We were expecting him to come back bitter. We were expecting him to come back angry, looking for revenge, looking for vengeance, trying to take this company down. And that just hasn't happened. You know, he came back, he felt like the most important member of the elite. He felt like the most over member of the elite. He felt like the only member of the elite that had anything going for them. And within the space of like a month, he literally went from being number one in the elite to just slotting in to that fourth position. And we're not the only ones that haven't been impressed. Conan has also not been impressed. WWE star Conan. And he spoke on his podcast about the disappointing return for Jack Perry and what he would have done with Perry instead. So that's what Conan had to say about the whole thing. He says, quote, And I fought at the end with Jack Perry... All this hoopla about him coming back and he's the traitor or victim or whatever name he gave himself, the scapegoat or whatever. They made him this big deal with the Young Bucks and then he just comes out and does that with Dante Martin, who's not a big deal. I mean, they've done a terrible job of bringing Jack Perry back. And bro, all he had to do was come back with his chick, Anna J. I got the hottest bitch in this promotion, right? I'm the fucking son of a superstar, I'm self-paid, I don't even fucking need wrestling. I'm a good looking guy, and I can get any. He's riding a fucking Lamborghini. Ellie, right end of quote. Well, Conan there pretty much dropping truth bombs, he's supposed to be this big deal. He's with the Young Bucks, he's with the Elite, he's angry with AEW, and all of a sudden, he has been in like meaningless matches, getting involved with people like Dante Martin, who are absolute jabronis, who are doing absolutely nothing on the roster. And it's like, what is the point? I, I thought Jack Perry was going to come back. I thought he was going to be trying to take AEW down. I thought he was going to be res uh, resentful of AEW. I thought he was going to be resentful of Tony Khan. I thought he'd be looking for revenge. He'd try and, you know burn this company to the ground, try and take it down, but that hasn't really happened, and now it's almost like he isn't even involved. He's a member of the elite, but he isn't really involved, and it's just like the Young Bucks, who are having this like lame power struggle with Tony Khan, they're in production, they're pretending to be running the show, and nothing else is happening. Jack Perry's just having jobber matches, while the Young Bucks sit in production and mess about with like sound difficulties and technicalities with like the acclaimed and things like that. I mean th this is terrible. We were supposed to believe that Jack Perry was coming back, he was super pissed off and now he's just another guy. He's just like the fourth guy in um, the elite and he's wrestling guys like Dante Martin. And Conan's right, I mean you've got Jack Perry. This guy I guess could be a heel. He is with Anna J, who's arguably the hottest chick in the promotion. That's one way to get heel heat. You know, just tell all the other guys that I've got a hot bitch and none of yous could get her. That's one way to get people to dislike you. He is the son of a movie star. You've got He's got that going for him. Self-paid, good looks. I mean, everything Tony can say there is true. You know, this guy could have came back and he could have been on his own. He could have had this solo run with Anna J, and he could have been looking to destroy AEW, but they haven't done that. He's came back, he's joined the elite, and he's took a back seat to everything that the Bucks are doing, and he's just sitting around wrestling, you know, jobbers. Why not show us Jack Perry? Why not show him having this superstar lifestyle that he could claim to have, the Lamborghini? Show him arriving in the Lamborghini. Show him with Anna J, show him... You know, come into the ring, come into the arena with the hottest chick in wrestling. Have him try and take down AEW. Have him be better about everything in this company. Have him come out and cut promos. Even if they had him bring up CM Punk, you know, that's one thing. I think that would have been better than that dumb footage from All Out. 
It would have been better to have Jack Perry come out and cut a promo on CM Punk rather than show some stupid backstage shit. So yeah, I, I don't get it. I think Conan's right. There was some legitimate heat here. And that seems to be when you can create some really good storylines. Like with the whole Edge, Lita, Love Triangle, WWE played into that. And it felt fucking real. And Jack Perry, CM Punk, if Jack Perry came out and was legitimately pissed that he was the one that was sent home, this guy could have had a feud. Now, maybe not with Tony Khan, because Tony Khan sucks, but the fact that Tony Khan has hired Christopher Daniels or whatever, you could have had Jack Perry come out and claim that he was going to take Khan, he was going to sue Khan, he was going to take him for millions, billions, or, or whatever, but they just haven't done that. Jack Perry's came back and he's just wrestling other guys, and he's not even wrestling people at the top. I mean, he's wrestling people at the bottom. <laughs> it fucking sucks. And they, they, they had something real. It's not even that I like Jack Perry, but the stuff between him and Punk actually happened. And there was something, there was real, like, heat here. They didn't need to create drama or tension or create a story. This legitimately happened. You know, there was tension there. There was a rivalry there. Jack Perry had a legitimate reason to be upset with AEW and Tony Khan. And it's almost like they've squashed that. And it's literally just turned into some phony power struggle between Tony Khan and Daniels and the Elite. But it's not even the Elite, it's just the Bucks. And what, meanwhile, Jack Perry's kind of on his own almost as the fourth member of this group wrestling nobodies. Honestly, man, I don't get it. I think they've done a terrible job. They've dropped the ball here big time, but it's AEW. Hardly surprising. Let us know, guys, what you think down below. Do you like the Jack Perry return? Do you think it could be better? Or does Jack Perry just suck? Is there no hope for Jack Perry? Can you not polish a turd? That's a famous saying. Is that the case with Jack Perry? I don't know. Let us know what you think down below and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.